Well, as we, we kind of are climbing the mountain of St. Paul's letter to the Romans and kind of beginning to ascend into the heights of the good news that Paul proclaims, that, you know, and this is really one of the quintessential uh, messages of the good news of Jesus, is that even when we were still sinners, God died for us. And in a sense, that's something that we are called to really hang on to, that no matter how far our life has gone off the tracks or no matter how distant we may feel from God, that in a sense, we need to have the confidence that when we were as far away from God as you one could possibly get, God gave us Jesus to bring us back to him. Has, uh, has the writer of the, of the kind of the novel, The Shack, said in an interview that I was listening to, he said, um, he said, not all roads lead to God. It's like, that's not what the shack is about. It's not like, you know, take any path and eventually you'll find your way there. He said, not all roads lead to God, but there is no road, you know, there's no wrong turn. You can't go far enough down a, a wrong road that God can't get you back. You can't go far enough off the track that God can't bring you back home. And this is what Paul is proclaiming, that um, the, in the extremity of our need and the extremity of our alienation from God, that God meets us precisely there in Jesus. And as Paul said, in Paul uses a, a form of, of argument uh, that goes, is called from the lesser to the greater. And in a sense, he says, if, you know, if God can forgive us, you know, when we were still enemies, now that we're friends, how much more is God going to give us eternal life? And that's, you know, since we need to understand that the forgiveness of our sins is the beginning of the good news. And that the rest of the good news is that we're called to live a, a life of, of the age to come. We're called to live resurrection life, which God will give us since we are his friends. That's what Paul says. We've transitioned. We have been reconciled that now that we have been forgiven, we're gonna we're like we're like children in the family. And so God is going to give it. We're no longer enemies. We're now God's own children in Jesus. And so God is going to give us the life of the sons and daughters of God. And that's the kind of the, the other shoe dropping is that the resurrection is an easy thing. You know, for Paul, it's like he basically saying the resurrection is easy because we're God's friends. It was, you know, the for, now the forgiveness has been taken care of. Don't worry about the resurrection. Don't worry about your life because that's in God's hands and it's going to be good because you are friends with God. I feel like this passage is really can be put right up against uh, John chapter 14 where, where Jesus says, I call you my friends, right? Or maybe it's 15, but basically the part of the, in the last supper where Jesus says, I don't call you slaves any longer because slaves don't know what the master's doing. I call you my beloved friends. And that is the transformation that God's grace in Jesus brings to us, is that we're transformed from enemies, from slaves, people who don't know what God is up to, into friends. And we know precisely what God is up to in the sense that we know our future is in him. And our future is joy, is peace, is life in the kingdom. So good news indeed from St. Paul tonight. A reading from St. Paul's letter to the Romans. Since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have obtained access to this grace in which we stand. And we boast in our hope of sharing the glory of God. And not only that, but we also boast in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance and endurance produces character and character produces hope, and hope does not disappoint us because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. For while we were still weak, at the right time Christ died for the ungodly. Indeed, rarely will anyone die for a righteous person, though perhaps for a good person someone might actually dare to die. But God proves his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Much more surely then, 
now that we have been justified by his blood, will we be saved through him from the wrath of God. For if while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his son, much more surely, having been reconciled, will we be saved by his life. But more than that, we even boast in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.